big XL there to start. I mean, did you know that a life trade was coming? No, I had no clue to be honest. Sort of that, um, I suppose, eight to twelve range was um, where I suppose Brett, um, my management team, sort of thought I'd land. But sort of between those picks, I had no clue. I was just sort of sitting there, twiddling the thumbs, sort of waiting for the moment, I suppose. And how did you, your mates react to the line? Yeah, they went off. That was <laughs> they said before it that they had to be the ones with the biggest reaction. So um, yeah, it was pretty loud. And then um, obviously when Phoenix went as well, um, I had to make sure I got over there as well. So I think that was probably the highlight, probably the celebration of the night. I hope. We just spoke to Phoenix. It must be incredible to see him get picked up straight after you. Yeah, it was honestly ridiculous to be honest. Like the emotions. So I was just speaking about how like my heart was racing the whole time. Like standing up on the stage, shaking Joel Selwood's hand, and then talking to him for about thirty seconds, and then I just hear Phoenix and the same group that just yelled my name, like screaming his. So I was like, I've got to get over there. So it was pretty special to share the moment. What does the number four team from Joel Selwood being handed over to you on the stage mean? Yeah, it's, it's obviously very special. Um, he's, yeah, obviously a legend of the club. And, um, yeah, it's a privilege to sort of even have him here tonight. So, um, yeah, it means a lot. And it sort of shows that going forwards, um, I'm going to have to sort of take responsibility. And, um, yeah, it's sort of hopefully my time um, now, which is amazing. What did he say? What did he say? Yeah. Oh, he was just yeah. like, <laughs> relax, enjoy it. You know, all the sort of stuff calming down a little bit. So he's obviously done it before. He's been in big moments before. So he was pretty chill. So... Um, yeah, definitely helped me sort of calm the nerves a little bit. Yeah, the Sabre leading through the trade period, are you aiming to, to be there round one and play the key defender there? Yeah, that's definitely the short-term goal. Um, wherever it may be on the ground, I definitely do want to make that a goal of mine to sort of play round one next year. Um, obviously, yeah, I'll do my best throughout the se uh, pre-season to give myself the best opportunity to do that. But, yeah, obviously at the end of the day, it's up to the coaches. So, yeah. You're going to a really proud club. What do you know about Geelong, the Geelong area? Have you been down there much? Uh, a little bit. I know they're loud. They're big supporters. So um, I was at the 2022 grand final for the under-17s futures match. And I remember that, um, that yeah, they, they pants the swans and... Um, the crowd didn't get um, sort of quieter every time they kicked the goal, so I know they're passionate, which is exciting. So, yeah, it's awesome to be a part of. You've spoken about the Rangers game. There's a moment you kind of realised you had a chance of getting drafted off, maybe playing up basketball. What does this moment feel like for you? Yeah, definitely. After that sort of game um, and having a chat to a few sort of people in my close network, they sort of said if I give this a crack, then I'm every chance to open some opportunities that I never thought I would. So, um, yeah, to sort of be here now, it's pretty surreal. Um, like, you watch it on TV and... It all, you all think it's too far in the distance or could that really happen to me? But sort of now that it's here, it's, yeah, it's crazy. And I, I, I don't know how to describe it really. It's, yeah, it's surreal. Yeah, no, it's, it's awesome to obviously upgrade um, from country to big country, but um, hopefully still sort of keep that um, country lifestyle a little bit. So, yeah, I'm super pumped. It couldn't have worked out better. You've been a bit of an everyman this year, played in pretty much every position on the ground. Um, I noticed that in your profile, you put that you're a key back slash forward. Tell, tell me a bit about that. Where do you feel most comfortable? Yeah, to be honest, I think sort of strength of sort of my juniors was in the sense that I got thrown around a lot. So I sort of become pretty comfortable with both forward and back. I think obviously they're both areas that I've got strengths in, but also have a lot to improve on in either end. So I think definitely um, I wouldn't sort of pigeonhole myself right now. It'll just be up to sort of the situation that we're in come sort of next year, I suppose. Have you had any inkling from clubs of where they might want to play you at the next level, where they see you fitting in? Not really. They sort of say um, they like sort of strengths of certain areas, but um, they sort of don't give much away. So just like the draft, everything's sort of keeping on the hush-hush until it actually happens. So, um, yeah, no, I'll see where it happens, but I'm happy either way. Is there anything that stood out to you in your Geelong throughout the process? Yeah, just really relaxed, you know, like I think um, obviously it comes to interviews or you do a lot of interviews and they become, um, obviously they're amazing and to meet all the new people, um, they become very similar um, and I think sort of what stood out to me about Geelong was it was very relaxed and it was just open conversation. Um, yeah, it wasn't too much pressure on me, which sort of made me come out of my shell a little bit. So um, yeah, hopefully that um, made a good impression or I hope that made a good impression. Who are you most looking for in playing with this game? Um, well, I've spoken about Jeremy Cameron a lot, sort of in the lead up, so sort of play alongside him will be pretty amazing, but they've got an amazingly young group, um, talented group, so every single player there will be an honour to play alongside. Um, they've got so much experience, but also a lot of youth, so yeah, both sides of that, it makes it an, an awesome mix, so I'm super excited.